in this in this video we are going to discuss the government policy changes and their impact on business this is business environment plus 2 business studies in 1991 the indian economy faced a serious foreign exchange crisis high government deficit and a rising trend of prices despite of increased crop production as a part of economic reforms the indian government announced a new industrial policy in july 1991 the main aim of the new industrial policy was to create a more competitive environment in the economy and to remove the barriers of entry and growth of firms the feature of this policy was number 1 was de licensing de licensing was a new policy that abolished industrial licensing for all projects except for six industries the government decreased the role of private sector and the government also announced this investment the government said that liberalization policies will be followed the government announced for privatization and globalization so overall conclusion is that the government started to follow the policy of lpg that is liberalization privatization and globalization lp is the main component of the new economic policy that was framed by government first l that is liberalization liberalization means removal of trade barriers or unnecessary controls and restrictions on business the features are abolishing licensing requirement in most of the industries except in a shortlisted industries next freedom in deciding the scale of business activity number 3 removal of restrictions on the movement of goods and services next freedom in fixing the prices of goods and services next reduction in tax rates and lifting the unnecessary control over the economy and six making it easier to attract foreign capital and technology to india now when we talk about liberalization we are talking about relaxation of the trade barriers government wanted to relax the trade barriers or reduce the trade barriers or the restriction that was imposed on trade and the main features of this are mentioned there then you have privatization privatization means giving greater greater role to the public sector in a nation building process and a reduced role to the public sector it means the role of public sector will be reduced and the role of private sector will be increased to in, to achieve this the government has taken the following steps in order to reduce the role of the public sector and increase the role of the private sector government has taken up the process, process of disinvestment disinvestment means selling a part or whole of the shares of a public sector it means the shares of the public sector will be sold to the private sector this shares can be it can be a part of the share or it can be the whole of the share it reduces the share of the government in the public sector undertakings now due to invest this investment the shares of the public sector will be decreased and the share of the private sector will be increased if the private sector acquires more than 51% shares then it would result in the transfer of ownership and management of the public sector undertakings to the private sector undertakings it means if the private sector undertakings they gets 51% shares then they will they will this will result in the transfer of ownership the ownership will be transferred to the private sector and the management will also be transferred and all the decisions regarding the production and distribution process will be taken by the private sector number 2 setting up of bifr bifr that is 
Board of Industrial and Financial Reconstruction. It was set up to revive or close the loss making and sick PSUs. First of all, all those public all those public sector undertakings that that are in loss that has to be revived. If they cannot be revived, then that has to be closed. So BIFR was set up for privatization. The third element of the new economic policy is globalization. Globalization means integration, interconnection, interlinkage of various economies of the world. Now the features are it involves integrating the national economy with the world economy through the removal of trade barriers. It was in 1991 that the government of India has strictly regulated imports through licensing and imports traffic restrictions. New economic policy aims to liberalize foreign trade. Globalization increased the level of interaction and interdependence among the various nations of the global economy. So the new economic policy gave LPG that is liberalization, privatization and globalization. Liberalization means removal of trade barriers. The trade barriers will be removed. Privatization means that the, the shares of the public sector undertakings will be given to the private sector undertakings so that private sector undertakings can have a greater say in decision making in the production process and then the globalization is the integration and interconnection of the markets of the world and globalization was possible due to liberalization. In 1991 the government they first started following the policy of liberalization and due to this large, large foreign capital investment they started coming to our country as well as the multinational companies they started moving from our country to other countries and the foreign companies they started coming to our countries. Now the question is which economy is truly globalized? An economy is truly globalized when they, these there is following features. The features are number one free flow of goods and services across nations. It means goods and services must flow freely from one part of the nation to the other part of the world. Then flow of good flow of capital across nations. Not only goods capital must also flow from one country of the world to another country of the world. Similarly, information and technology must also flow from one part of the part of the world. People must also cross the borders. Then it must be a common, it must be a common government perspective. That is the different countries of the world. They must open markets for each other. Then only we can say that the economy is totally globalized. Otherwise it is not globalized.